Hi everyone, Delon Wolf here and welcome back to another EVE Online discussion video because as you probably know the chaos era is continuing after I would say a couple of rather quiet weeks when it comes to the chaos in EVE Online CCP Rise decided to drop a pretty big bombshell because they are planning to change the Sino mechanic in September in a very drastic way. It's already really controversial I think it is competing with the Nosek Blackout when it comes to how controversial this change is but after a couple of uh, well rather quiet weeks including the august release that didn't really bring that many changes to the game uh, i think ccp is gearing up for the next phase of the chaos in eve online it's super interesting and uh, before i get started on giving you guys my analysis of this change i will admit that it really doesn't impact me at all and i have very uh, limited experience with the sino mechanic myself i am a care bear and so keep in mind that my perspective is uh, gonna be skewed uh, from um, from the fact that I don't really use it myself uh, at all. Uh, the Sino mechanic. So I have seen Sinos in the wild, mostly when I wanted to. Uh, take some footage from bigger battles of course it's always super cool to see a Sino lit and to see a massive fleet of supers drop uh, onto the field and then start a big brawl uh, that may change substantially after this of course we may no longer see that very same dynamic because of uh, because of this change uh, I did watch a couple videos about how the mechanic works itself so uh, I do know that you light a Sino and uh, you have to be in a fleet with the Sino and that is how for instance a jump freighter can jump straight to uh, towards that Sino and uh, basically you know cut down on the travel time avoid having to use gates and uh, things like that uh, my personal perspective on this is on on the Sino mechanic in general is that it is like one of the most powerful mechanics in the game it is normally unique to Nosek although of course you can even jump from the Jita Undock to a Sino in Nosek as well so it impacts uh, a big part of the game and uh, well what doesn't make sense is that all the tutorials I see is from rookie ships opening up Sinos that is something that I've always found really strange that that was possible and allowed it basically means that it's it's a zero cost um, or, or a, a practically zero cost to the user there uh, which which didn't make sense for such a, a, a huge uh, hugely powerful mechanic now if you want to read along let's uh, I, I increase the size of the screen as was requested you can go to eveonline.com it is not on the articles website yet i do think ccp will introduce uh, maybe a dev block on the september release or something like that but this time you have to go for the community website and then you have to find the link to the forums and the forums look like this and you have to go down a little bit to the EVE Technology and Research Center where you will find the upcoming features and changes that looks like this with the first post the chaos era continues a Sino update um, yeah quite a few responses 1.2k at this point for uh, with the latest one about an hour ago so let's go into the post and we can see right away how controversial this announced change is uh, because the post from ccp rise was flagged by the community and is temporarily hidden so uh, this is this is like a next level of uh, making uh, ccp know that you're not happy uh, with uh, what's being announced here they're actually flagging the opening post by a ccp dev now we can still view the ignore content and here is the announced change so this september ccp is planning two large changes for the sinusaural fields sinusaural field generator one can only be fit by force recon ships and black ops battleships two pretty expensive ships that are not that tanky that feels very restrictive right off the bat compared to what it is now you would either have sinos lit by uh, super cheap rookie ships or you would see it lit by of course the biggest baddest ships uh, that uh, that they want to have defended by the super capital umbrella like uh, the ratting super carriers for instance or the Rorcals. so yeah, very big change, very, very restrictive. And then jump raiders can jump to covert sinusaural fields. So um, basically in the post, CCP Rice says that uh, they want to introduce more challenge when it comes to use of the Sino. I can understand that. And the biggest parts here are they can now be used by flocks of alts at nearly no risk. I wouldn't say no risk, right? You do see that, that they get blown up quite a lot because you open up the Sino and then you can't move the ship at all or 
or use any of the modules at all while the Sino is open for like 10 minutes. So there is risk there, but there's almost no cost because you can do it in a rookie ship or... Um, Buy the largest and strongest ships in the game with few options for Sino disruption. Capital response time and power has grown to the point that it is oppressing activity. And so yeah, basically um, it is almost impossible now to stop the largest group from escalating to its maximum potential. Because they can just fit a Sino on a Titan, I think. Or at least a carrier or something like that. And it's going to be impossible to, to disrupt that escalation in any ways. And so, um, yeah, uh, while the most of the impact uh, for, from this change is on combat, they are sensitive to the effect on jump freighters and logistics overall. Jump freighters will be allowed to use the covert Sino, which can still be activated by cheaper hulls like a covert ops frigate, for instance. This may need further attention, and we will be watching this area very closely. So, perhaps before I talk about my speculation on the goals here, I should mention that uh, if you are a logistics uh, pilot, if you're a jump freighter pilot, and you already see like glaring problems and potential solutions, uh, then definitely feel free to post that either in this thread or in the comments of the video uh, because this part of the post does to me mean that CCP understand that understands that they need to keep a close eye on what this is going to do for use of jump freighters and for logistics in general and that they may need to tweak that um, depending on the actual impact so yeah uh, keep in mind when it comes to giving uh, feedback I think it's always best to try to be um, try to be constructive try to stay positive i think that gets the best response from the developer and so here yeah again if you're a jump freighter pilot and you see really big problems with this and potential solutions i would put that down especially here in the forums perhaps also down here uh, in the video um, in the video comments but let's talk about what i think are the goals for um for for this sino change well it, it says so in the post right here right now it can be used by the smallest of alts you could say at nearly no risk and nearly no cost that just doesn't make sense to me for such a a powerful uh, a powerful ability that you can put that on a rookie ship it, it just feels completely out of whack uh, completely wrong and then at the same time right now as i've said because you can also fit some sinos on your carriers that that you jump in it basically becomes an impossible uh, a snowball that's impossible to stop and so the biggest group can just have their whole fleet that's ready uh, on the field in no time without any way of stopping this and so here yeah they're basically forcing you to use either a force recon ship which is will be going up in value quite substantially if i'm not mistaken these are the cruisers that can uh, use uh, covered up cloaking devices but are not immune to uh, the D scan, um, so you can put a cloaky recon ship ready for your Sino, and then the Black Ops battleship, of course. Uh, but neither of these are really tanky, and uh, so. Uh, basically the way I see it if you're gonna escalate towards a very very big fight you're actually going to have to jump fleets in off grid uh, away from the paddle in order to be able to uh, uh, ensure that you get your whole force uh, into the battle um, warping them in then feels very risky of course but uh, that's that's basically i think one of the big consequences for the big battles of this change you will no longer be able to just escalate one blob here and then sinos start to be lit here there's no way of stopping them and so the second big blob comes here and and that's the fight now they'll have to move sinos off grid have fleets warp in you'll have a bubble counter game um, it will as he said here increase the challenge uh, that is uh, that is needed for those high-end end game huge battles with capitals and super capital ships so i think those are basically the goals i do uh, i saw some comments that this is too restrictive and i kind of feel like that may be true especially the fact that now it's either a force recon or a black ops battleship even in a medium engagement you will not be able to light a sino on the field anymore and and that feels like something that may be wrong uh, that that may be uh, overdoing a little bit and uh, something that came back in quite a few posts is that perhaps they should allow marauders to do the same it's a very expensive battleship but at least you can have uh, make that rather tanky so that in bigger engagements um 
Uh, there, there is still that option of bringing in a Marauder, sacrificing a Marauder basically because it will be focused first, but at least you'll be able to bring in a number of reinforcements depending on how well that Marauder can tank the damage. And, and I would personally think that that is perhaps indeed uh, something that CCP needs to look into. This feels super, super restrictive and is, is going to uh, yeah, make it next to impossible to light a Sino on an active grid uh, basically where the engagement is happening. Um, so uh, I note something else, let's see here. Oh yeah, this to me also highlights what CCP is uh, doing at the moment in the Chaos era. Basically their way of thinking right now is uh, we're gonna go with the roughest change, the biggest change, the, 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 the change that's gonna uh, be the most restrictive in this case and is going to bring most Chaos to the game. But this gives them leeway to basically roll this back a little bit. I feel like they've done the same with the Nasik Blackout, sure, 0-0 zero, zero local is gone it's it's about as rough as you can bring it uh, but then you know that they have uh, if it really doesn't work out they can announce a new structure that basically rolls that back a little bit and here it's the same thing this is super restrictive um, to a couple of uh, to just a couple of ships I think it's basically eight ships now that uh, that can use the Sinusaur field generator one back from basically every ship in the game um, and as a result this does give them lots of room to add new ships in the future if they're seeing that there is there should be room for that such as the marauder change i think it's not completely off the books uh, but for september i do think that this is what they're gonna do they're gonna bring the biggest chaos uh, to the game the only change that i can see potentially would be for the jump freighters if you can point them to a really really big problem with this change with the fact that they now have to use the covert ops uh, frigates uh, and, and the covert sinos um, and, and you can then give them uh, the, the right solution for that. I think that that might still be on the books. But when it comes to Copat Sinos, nope, that is going to be this restrictive, very risky to do, and is going to majorly uh, change the dynamics in Nalsic again. Uh, yeah, biggest change, of course. Can't just swing your uh, super capital uh, fleet that's at the ready around and drop it on on anything and everything. That was basically, I think, part of the complaints that we did start uh, to. Um to see more and more before the blackout I should say that is that well you would now have titans being dropped on a single frigate and things like that so it was just too cheap it was just too easy and uh, this is what CCP is planning to do when it comes to that change yeah the chaos era is back guys I would love to hear your responses uh, in the comments and uh, if you want to have a nice read if, especially if you're interested in some salt definitely take a look at the posts here uh, some people you know are really Really positive and then some people say this is in complete bonkers mode lots of people announcing again that they are leaving the game you can always give contract all your stuff to me if you want to of course help support uh, the uh, operations in detail uh, but um, yeah also something that I've said several times here if you do have a real worry a real uh, you see a real problem when it comes to this change and you also have a solution to offer that that uh, does, d doesn't include don't do this change definitely put that down because CCP will still be open uh, to feedback although uh, they will it is very unlikely that they'll add it in the September release I think they'll go for max chaos first but at least you know put it on the radar so that later down the line perhaps they'll add the marauders perhaps they'll add the tech tree cruisers to be able to use the sinos as well um, if that's what the game needs I think CCP will still be willing to do that as well and that's going to be it for this discussion video guys thank you very much for watching enjoy the chaos and I'll see you all next time